you hear a uh, creak of a door closing behind you. Mom? Um, you? <coughs> Mom, I, I'll be home in a little bit, okay? Uh, the sound is not coming from the front door, which is locked. You're up late in your office. It's coming from one of the side doors um, out in the main room, because you're in your back office. There's like a little central room. You hear a little... Pull out my gun. <laughs> <laughs> and I creep towards uh, a corner, I guess. Cool, give me a stop check. Twenty-seven. You are deep in the shadows. You walk in, now give me a perception check. Nat 20. <laughs> um, a standing mirror from your file cabinet room um, is out in a corner of your room where you didn't put it. I slowly approach the mirror. Are you approaching it in such a way that your reflection is visible or no? You rolled a nat 20 on your stuff. I think I'd kind of like to walk to the side to see if I can see anyone else in the reflection. Although I guess if I could see it, it would reflect. Yeah, I honestly, I would probably look at it. So you walk out into the room to be able to look at the mirror. I want to be able to like see if there's somebody else there. Oh, so you're... Yeah, you're, I'm, try, I'm going by the side. You're going by the side. Yeah. So you're trying to, like, use the mirror yeah. to catch other people. You get closer, closer, closer. You don't see anyone hiding. You are now right up to the side of the mirror. Not in front of it still, but you're up to the side of it. Is there anything behind it? <laughs> you pass your hand behind it, um, and you don't, f yeah, it just feels like wall and behind the mirror. Um, you could go investigate the other room that you still haven't investigated, uh, but you have to take a step forward. Okay. Um. I am going to... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to, I guess, kind of crawl behind. Is it like propped up? Can I like crawl behind it, my little goblin? Uh, it's actually there's not enough space between the wall and the standing mirror for you to creep behind it without moving it. Okay. I think um, Riz doesn't know things that I know in real life, um, so I think Riz is going to slowly start creeping towards the other room. You creep, as you creep, you immediately know that your reflection is wrong. You, uh, well, like the first thing you can react to is that something's wrong with your reflection. What does Riz do? It's only in your peripheral because you're sneaking towards the other room. I think I still have my gun out, but I'm not gonna make any sudden movements. What do you want? A voice colder than the grave echoes from behind the mirror where you know there is nothing. Rory Scott gag. What do I want? Oh, that would be sorry to look at me. Don't you want to see me? Who are you? Um, you see the reflection moves, even though you are not moving, and gets up against the glass on the other side of the mirror, like it is looking through a pane of glass at an aquarium, and you can see it puts its hands up on the mirror, and you see the glass move as though there is pressure from the other side. What you are looking at is a bone white goblin mannequin. Its joints articulated into blackness underneath. 
whatever skeletal structure the mannequin rests on has black joints. It is capable of movement, but it looks like it is made either of bone or ivory, except that it wears uh, a white shirt, a little vest, and sort of uh, gray pantaloons. Um, it has a pure white wig in a kind of Lord Fauntleroy style, like a little Ugh. princeling. You see that this thing, uh, the face, uh, uh, the face has two nostril slits, two uh, eyes that are matte black in the white ivory of its face. Um, instead of a mouth, it is just a carved dark line. And as it speaks, the lips don't move. Uh, but it has a little hair, and it takes out like a long white wand, and you see it says, Riskake, you don't recognize me? I am your romance partner, Baron. Um, I have a confession to make. Baron's not real. <laughs> And if you demand that I am not real, I will have to drag you to the baronies to see my Stark father. I, did I s summon you by pretending to have... What are, what, what are you doing, you weird little skeleton boy? <laughs> that is the second hurtful thing you have said to your romance partner. Should you say a third, there will be grave consequences. I cannot control it. The things that are true about me are as follows. I am your romance partner, and I am from the Baronies. The third is that my name is Baron. <laughs> What did we do on our first date? Please, Gagak, you have not been kind enough to give me that yet. But if you invent it, I promise I can make it true. You're born of lies? It is not my fault I am born of lies. It is the fault of the deceiver, Please, Gagak. Now, why don't you do what it is that you most want to do? I really quick try to shoot the mirror. The mirror shatters and you immediately open the gateway for this creature to lunge, grab you by the throat, and uh, go ahead and give me an athletics roll. It's not good for me, gang. That's a nine. Uh, this creature throttles you by the throat and begins to twist your head so far that you can feel your vertebrae about to snap. I tap, uh, I tap out, <laughs> I give um, up. Uh, it starts to drag you towards the open mirror, and it says, You have been naughty thrice, Rizgakak! Your romance partner deserves better treatment! Oh. Uh, you're <laughs> just clawing at the floor. Yeah, yeah. You're just clawing at the floor. Um, you suddenly realize that in your front pocket, the, 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 the photo, the important piece of evidence... Throw it out. Uh, it slides into a slit in the floorboards. You are dragged into the mirror, and you vanish from the world as we know it. You are turned around to gaze into the vacant eyes of your romance partner, Baron, and they look at you and say, Now it's time for you to make up more things, Resgagak. And you go unconscious. Uh, <laughs> can, we be can we be done? We can go to in and out. Very uh, break my neck. Go. Yeah, we need to talk through all of that. Uh, uh, you wow. Guys, you guys don't like that? You guys that don't was like? Actually, scary. We're supposed yeah. to fight like big rocks or something. Yeah. Uh, I would love a big rock to fight. Yeah. I'm so glad you guys think People I'm really went scary. People to hell and it wasn't that bad. I, <laughs> I'm a That's camp counselor, scary. so if I can't tell scary stories, what good am I? Um, oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs>